check, check. So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for calling us to Delhi. I would like to thank Mai for inviting us here. It's like a wonderful campus you guys are having. So thank you. And yesterday we ate parotta. It was too good. So today we'd like to talk about imagining possibilities. I'm Shravan Kumar, and I'm 16 years old. I'm in 11th standard. I'm from Chennai. Hi, my name is Sanjeev Kumar, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of GoDimensions. So what do we do at GoDimensions? At GoDimensions, we develop apps. We develop apps for the iOS, the Android, and also for the Windows platform. So we are striving for building a global company. So our journey. Our journey started with a normal desktop computer that our dad bought. And uh, we first learned like how to type and uh, paint and the first basic uh, apps that we had to learn. Then the first programming language that we learned was called QBasic. So we learned a little bit of that and understood how exactly it works. And uh, next we learned Java. The next. Do you want to get the yeah. Okay. So the next language that we learned was called Java. So this programming language was quite complex, so we bought a couple of books and we studied a little bit of Java and then we got ourselves a new MacBook Pro, a new iPad and new Android device. And we were really inspired by these tools. And we had this choice at one point of time whether to build desktop applications and applications for the normal computer or the mobile phone. At that time, the mobile phone was just an emerging market. It was not so clear. It wasn't such a big pathway. So at last, we took a decision of building mobile app platform for the mobile app platform. So we started uh, building apps for the Android platform at first. And later, we started learning for the iOS platform. And we developed and, uh, iOS apps and released our first app on the Apple platform. So the first app that we built is called Catch Me Cop. So in this app, you're the notorious con who has escaped from the prison, and there's a nationwide hunt for you. So you have to go around the screen, escaping from the cops. So there are over five levels, and every level you cross, it gets more increasingly and increasingly tougher, and uh, it's a very, very fun game. This app was rated 4.5 out of 5 on the Apple App Store. The next app which we developed was called Alphabet Sport. So my mom always kept telling us that we should not only just make uh, games, we should also make educational apps so that we help young children who always are using the, uh, div these devices. So then we thought about it and then we made this app called the Alphabet Sport. So in this app, we teach kids the alphabet. So this is a very, very uh, uh, interesting app and uh, we give an example along with the alphabet and we teach the kids and we tested this app on our cousin and finally like uh, once he used it he learned the alphabets within five hours and his mom was really excited and when we released this app on the apple app store we got a rating of five out of five we were very excited so the next app that we built was called player plan so while we were traveling in the flight and there was lots of turbulence, we wanted to pray God, but there was no idol. So we were thinking about various ways to pray God. And we found out this idea that why can't we pray, pray God using our mobile phone? So we built this app called Prayer Planet on the flight. And while coming back from the United States, we had an app running on our phone. So this app is also available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. And this, got a, uh, this app got a rating of 4 out of 5 on the Apple App Store. So the next app which we developed is called Color Palette. So in, because we got a very positive rating for the Alphabets board, we thought we should develop another app which will help the kids learn the, alphabet, uh, the colors. So but in this we wanted to add way more features. We added a feature called Quiz where we test the kid on how much he or she has learned. And we also added another feature where kids can mix two colors to form the third color. And again, when we released this app, it got a rating of 5 out of 5 in the Apple App Store.
So the next app that we built is called Emergency Booth. So we, I was reading the paper and I saw that there were many articles that said that uh, people were not able to reach the emergency lines at the right time. So their house burned down or many, many problems happened. So we built this app to essentially simplify the way we call the emergency services. Like previously, if you want to call an emergency line, at that time when your house is burning, for example, you have to like think, okay, what's number 101? It's really hard. So we, bu we built an app so that you can easily call in exactly two clicks. You can call all the uh, emergency services and you can also automatically send a message, an emergency message to your friends or families or neighbors. So that like at that moment they'll know, okay, it's a fire. So I can help bringing water and spraying it on their house. So they also can escape or, <laughs> yeah. So that's how we built this app and we got 14 countries support. So you can change the country to any country that you go to. So this app got a rating of 4.5 out of 5 on the App Lab Store. So we really love this game called Mario and we wanted to make an app version of it. So then we started to develop this game called Superhero Jetpack EI5. So in this, you're the superhero who has to escape from all the villains and try to save the world. So when we released this app, it got over two, I mean about 1,000 downloads in just the first day, and we had a rating of four out of five in the Apple App Store. So the next, uh, the next app is called Car Racing HD. So in this app, you you can actually like race a car by using the gyroscope on your phone, so you can tilt the device to alter which direction you want the car to go. And this uh, got over 2,000 downloads on day one. So this was actually rated Apple's top 300 apps. Awesome. And uh, in this game, you also have uh, a, uh, a game center support so that you can compete with your friends and also compete with your scores. So you and your friend can be playing on the same time. So you can have lots of competitions and stuff like that. So we just hit the we just hit the one million mark, uh, one lakh downloads in our apps. Like we have got over one lakh downloads in all three platforms, and we are really excited. I think the the presentation was loaded wrong. We actually changed it. So, but most of the downloads go to the app Catch Me Cop. That's because it's a game, and obviously everybody wants to play games. Nobody wants to learn. Uh, we got uh, downloads from over 52 different countries. So our apps have been rated by all the world's best uh, reviewing websites. Like this is a very famous website in China. It's called Tong Bu, and they rated our apps. And we also got rated by this app, called, uh, this app rating website called App Info, and many others. And this was what we were really excited about. Like many of the great softwares are rated by this website called CNET. And we were rated by this website. It was really, really amazing. And it was really a proud moment for us. So we also got, uh, we got an e when Abdul Kalamji came to our school, we, uh, he, we gave our cards to him and we spoke to him a couple of words. And he checked out our website, and he played our games, and then he sent us an email, taking his precious time. This was one of the best moments in my life. This is an email from Abdul Kalamji. So we have spoken in various events. We have spoken in... Uh, over six TEDx, this is the sixth one, we're really excited. And, uh, and we have spoken in an event called Goa Fest, we have spoken in an event called SAP Tech University where over 7,000 students were present. It was really like a rock concert for us. <laughs> and we went to Korea as representatives from India to give a speech on design and it was really an amazing experience there as well.
we mainly talk in schools and colleges and we've spoken to over 50 different schools to over 30,000 students. So now we'd like to switch gears and talk about innovation. When I say the word innovation, what is it that comes to your mind at first? Do you think of the big ideas or the big changes, like say sending a rocket from Earth all the way to Mars in search of life forms or water? Or do you think of the small, frugal innovations or Jugard innovations where, like, like for example, the Mitty Cool refrigerator which, took, uh, which was invented in uh, UP and that changed dozens of lives in India? To us, what innovation is, is the small ideas, the small ideas that have massive and huge impact in people's lives. That's what we think as innovation. Let's take two great companies, Cisco and Sony. They have plethora of devices. For example, Cisco, they have everything in networking. They have uh, VOIP phones, they have uh, literally everything, like uh, Ethernet switches, they have everything related to networking. And Sony, I don't even have to tell you guys, like PS4s, TVs, uh, computers, tablets, phones, they have literally everything. And what are the market caps of these two big companies? 115 US billion dollars and 17 billion US dollars for Sony. So these two great companies have a massive market cap. And how many products do these companies have? So let's take another example of two other great companies, Facebook and Twitter. Companies that we, uh, companies and applications that we use almost every day. So what's the market cap of these two great companies? $260 billion and $19 billion US dollars for Twitter and $260 billion for Facebook. So these are the two market caps. And how many products do these companies have? They all just have one product. Even for these two, these are the next Facebooks and Twitters which we believe are like Snapchat, Airbnb, Dropbox, Square, Pinterest. Like these, these companies too have just one product and it's these one products and one ideas that can make a change. And uh, when we spoke in IIT Madras, me and my brother predicted that uh, either WhatsApp would get sold for over $15 billion or they would have a market cap of $15 billion. And we were right and, and Forbes, a great company, they predicted that WhatsApp would get sold for only $4 billion. We were right, they were wrong. <laughs> so what I tried to say is, it's that one product, it's that one idea that can make a change and a difference. So one of our favorite scientists stated that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% pers perspiration. This was actually stated by Thomas Elva Edison, which, uh, which is that for, your, for that one idea, that one change, changing idea that you get, work on it and put all your hard work on that idea and it will succeed. So we have some ideas which we are currently working on. Me and my brother on a day-to-day -day basis discuss a lot of ideas, but because of time constraints, like we have school just like you guys and we know the pressure. So we have very little time to work on these ideas. But we just like to discuss some of the ideas which we have. So lock and go. This is an IoT device which me and my brother are working on. IoT is basically the internet of things. And uh, lock and go is where, from any, anywhere in the world, you can directly lock your house door or open your house door or see whoever has come to your house door. And go map is another thing which we've been working on. And it's for uh, predicting live traffic data and uh, for predicting also the pollution levels in the city. And GoVR is another GoVR is another project which we have been working on. It's a virtual, re a virtual reality device which we've been working on. Virtual reality device is where you get into another virtual world. So these are some of the projects which we are working on. If we get more time, we'll definitely complete it faster. 
So our goal is to help uh, help the world by giving 15% of our profit to charity so that we Go Dimensions can make a change in the future. Thank you. Thank you. If you guys have any questions, you can ask. If you guys have any questions, you can stand up and ask. Okay, thank you so much.